Hey guys, welcome to Adelicious and I am Aditi. Today I bring to you a highly requested video of an eggless pineapple cake. This flavor is so popular in India and it's very easy to make. With Mother's Day right around the corner, this would be a lovely treat for your mothers. I for one know that my mother-in-law would love this. Without wasting much time, let's get started. We'll start off by making the simple syrup for the cake which we'll use to soak our cake layers. So in some hot water, I'll add in some sugar. When the sugar is mixed in and dissolved, I'll add in some pineapple juice. This would give a lovely pineapple flavor to our cake. For the cake base, I'm using my eggless vanilla cake recipe, which I've baked in a 6 inch pan. The link to the recipe you can find in the description box below. I'll divide the cake into 3 layers using a sharp serrated knife. To divide, first score the cake all around where you want to cut and then in a sawing motion cut the cake. Repeat the same to get one more layer. To fill in between the cake layers, I'm using a, some non-dairy whipping cream. You can also use normal whipping cream, but I'm using non-dairy whipping cream as it is much easier to work with. Whip the cream till you have stiff peaks like this. To fill in between the cake layers, I'm also using some canned pineapple which is chopped into small pieces. You can use fresh pineapple also, but you'll have to cook them and then use it. To assemble the cake, place it on the board on a turntable and soak the cake with the simple syrup we made. Then add a dollop of the whipped cream and spread it around in an even layer using a palette knife. Spread the chopped pineapple pieces all over around the whipped cream layer. Spread little more whipped cream on top. This will help the other cake layer to stick. Soak this layer as well. Don't add too much syrup because nobody likes a soggy cake. Smooth out the overhanging cream. This will prevent any pineapple pieces from coming out. And then repeat the process of spreading the cream, the pineapple pieces and then place the cake layer on top. Add the pineapple pieces leaving a border around the edge. This will prevent the pineapple pieces from squishing out of the cake and then showing through the final layer of frosting. Place the final layer of cake bottom side up and soak it with the simple syrup as well. Smooth out the overhanging cream and then crumb coat the cake with a little bit of whipped cream. Just apply a thin coat of whipped cream just to seal in all the crumbs. Place the cake in the fridge to chill for 30 minutes and then move on to doing the final coat. Place a big dollop of cream on top and smooth it out using a palette knife. You add more cream because we are going to end up removing a lot of cream but you need more to get a smoother finish. Then using a scraper, fill out, smooth out the sides and then using this motion remove the lip of frosting which is formed on top. Repeat this motion till you get a smooth cake. To add some design on the side of my cake, I mixed in some yellow gel color to some of the whipped cream. Once I'm happy with the color, I added small dots of cream on the walls of the cake. Then using a bend scraper, I went around the cake a few times to blend in the color and get this beautiful finish. Then to add some texture, I went around the cake with this cake comb I had that gave a beautiful pattern to the cake. Clean off the edges on top. And for the final decoration, I put in that yellow cream in a piping bag fitted with some star nozzle. Pipe some rosettes all around the edge of the cake. For the final detail, I've added some green whipped cream in a piping bag fitted with a leaf tip nozzle and I'm going to pipe in some leaves all around the rosettes that we piped earlier. Clean the board of the cake and this is what the final cake looked like. Let me cut a slice for you and let's see those gorgeous layers. This is such a soft and delicious cake. The pineapple flavor provides a great tang to the cake and it is delicious. I hope you give this recipe a try and if you do, don't forget to share a picture with me on my Instagram, link to which is in the description box below. And if you still haven't subscribed to my channel, please hit that red subscribe button and the bell icon next to it to get notification whenever a new recipe comes out. I'll see you again next week. Until then, bye-bye.